What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Asa Studio. Today we're here in Photoshop and we'll be doing some photo retouching tutorial. So what am I trying to achieve with this beautiful photo on the screen? I'm trying to bring up the highlights and make a face pop up the more, enhance the photo and also balance the structure of a head because the camera actually, you know, makes some place look not make some place look on nice if there's anything like that so uh i've duplicated the channel this is just the before the same thing nothing so i duplicated the channel just because i want to have reference so i'm just going to rename this one as the image to edit something like that then i'm going to turn it off i'm going to turn this one off so now quickly let's go to camera let's go to the filter and then go to liquify all right, so here we are in liquify and what I want to do, I want to use the face feature and you can see the face feature right here it allows you to balance, you know, a face. So I'm going to draw this closer a little bit and our lips also draw this closer and draw this down and this up. Why? Because I've adjusted a face, not trying to change the picture that much. I'm going to bring this one down a little and I think that is actually okay. I'm not going to touch the eyes. And I'm going to come to this smudge or wrap to the call it. So now I want to check. Let's take the photo down. You can see this side of our head is not round like this. So I'm going to increase the size of the brush so as to make everything uniform. And then I'm going to bring it down just close like that. Make it small and then push it in a little. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, the air right here, I'm going to push it up and then I'm going to bring this one down just like this a little and let's take this up to make the air balance and this one down like this. I'm going to bring this one forward a little too. So not changing things the way it is. Let's see uh, what else needs to be adjusted. Okay, so let's bring this side down little and up okay so I guess just a little like this and we can zoom in and bring this one out to make it balance okay so this is good all right so now I'm gonna eat preview before and then after before and after so looking nice and if I have the chance I can actually you know rotate the head but we can do that Photoshop so let's just click OK and then we're back so we've actually smoothing the head all right so this is before and then this is after looking okay so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to go to camera raw filter so let's go to the camera raw filter filter camera raw filter and so here we are in camera raw filter i'm going to go to the basic tab and what I want to do, first of all, I want to enhance the highlight. So let's take the highlight all the way up. Yeah, I'm going to take it all the way up. And the white too, just a little bit up. Just like so. I'm going to bring this one, the blacks down, to give it more dimension. Okay. And... That's too much, so just a little bit, 19. Okay, so let's reduce the highlights just a bit. Okay, now the shadows bring it down just a bit. Instead of using the contrast future, I'm going to take up the texture a bit. Yeah, so something like this to make the image pop. Okay, so about the saturation, just a bit. I'm going to saturate the photo and we're good like that all right so that is actually looking okay to me i'm just going to click okay and you can see the difference between the before and the after wow that's a very you know, big difference we see okay so now let's do some frequency separation on our skin so i'm going to duplicate the image twice ctrl j twice and then I'm going to name this one color. If you have your frequency separation action, you can actually, you know, do those easily by running the action. So this is texture. So I'm just going to pause the video and, you know, do some frequency separation. But those of you who don't know how to do frequency separation, 
I'm just going to teach you right away. Go to select the color, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you know, blur the image to when you see it's actually blur. The more you blow, the more texture you have when you change the other photo. So that's too much. I'm going to leave it at 6. Let's just leave it at okay, 5.6. I'm going to turn this texture layer on. I'm going to image, apply image, and the layer, select color, which is this one. Go The blending mode, go to subtract. And no need for invert. Scale to offset 128. Click on OK, and then change it back to linear light, and then you have your image. Select the two, group them together. And for the group, for the texture layer, you're going to use the clone stamp tool. And for the color layer, you're going to use the mixer tool brush. Set your brush like this, wet 9, 75%, you know, clean stroke, this one. And then, you know, make sure this place is empty. All right, so now, first thing I'm going to do, I just want to fix the blemishes so click on the texture layer go to the clone stamp to use alt sample and then you know click over the blemishes you want to do you want to fix so i'm just going to fix just more like this all right so i've actually edited the texture so you can see before and after on the texture just a little different i'm going to click on the color and then select the mixer tool brush and then I'm going to blend. So for instance, you see this place is not actually the same. So you can actually you know, blend them together with your tool. So know the direction to go. Like I always say, don't actually touch the highlights that much because you might end up ruining the image. Okay. So just some places you just need to blend. All right. So I've done some you no know, blending of the skin tone and it looks like this. Okay, so now say we can leave the photo just the way it is. But I like, you know, doing things appropriate, like making the color of this uh, skin look like the one below. Uh, because most people fix this with color grading, uh, but I like using the hue and saturation method. So let's try that out. Let's try Shift Control Alternate E to create a new layer. I'm going to turn this off so we know our before and after. And on this one, I'm going to create an adjustment layer, U and saturation. And I'm going to click on this tool and select a face. So a region is selected right here. I'm just going to increase it like this. And I'm going to push this slider to where a face is actually selected. Just a face. So I'm going to set that. All right, so this is the region just our face is actually, you know, selected that. I just post the video, so I don't want it to be long. Okay, so after that, you can see we can toggle it off and on. So now I want to achieve, you know, this blend on our skin tone, of which is actually selected. But let's see what we can do. I'm going to dial this back to zero and turn it back on. Okay, so now we're going to adjust the slider. If we don't like it, we can actually remove that. So something similar. This looks similar to our color. So to the one below, you can see before and after. And we can actually you know, decrease that a little, just about minus four. Looks good to me. Okay, but I think something is okay. It's actually okay actually okay for me and then I'm going to increase the saturation a bit okay and then we have the melanin type of look so this is before the yellowness is actually reduced to before and then after all right so now this is the last part I like the color lookup and the melanin color lookup so I'm gonna load in my skin lot go load in color lookup and then um the let's go select load to 3d and then i'm going to go to the the uh, melanin gs cube let's see how it looks on r wow that looks amazing on r so this is why i'm going to stop the video this is how i'm going to edit the image for today so let's create a stamp visible layer let's see where we actually coming from i'm going to turn off this effect 
and turn them all off so we have from this place you can see we, we came here with the liquefy tool and then we achieved this with the camera with the frequency separation liquefy tool and this one liquefy tool and the camera raw filter and then this is frequency separation and then this is a uh, melanin uh, color lookup or color grading so thank you so much for watching guys if you like the video so thank you so much for watching guys i had to pause that because of the noise and if you like the video don't forget to like and share if you want to get notified for if more uploads are coming in when more uploads drop you can hit the notification bell subscribe if you are new to the channel so thank you so much for watching once again this is asa studio see you in our next video